Baby Yum Yum. You can't parent without it. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I'm Paul Rotherham. Baby Yum Yum was founded by Amanda Rogaley, and this series of short interviews with her is designed to answer the many questions we've received regarding COVID-19 and parenting. We hope to address all your concerns and cover the many stigmas surrounding this virus as you continue to enjoy our content here on your number one parenting portal, Baby Yum Yum. <laughs> So Amanda, tell us a bit about yourself and your background as chief mommy and founder of Baby Yum Yum. I'm not a medical qualified person. I'm just simply a mother. I'm a mother of two kids and I'm doing my best every single day to bring up two girls and to run a business at the same time and to try and take over the world. Like many other women out there, I'm trying to be a super mom. But having said that, everything that I speak about today and for our podcast, going forward are all factual and credible information that has been pulled together by our experts on our Baby Yum Yum panel. I think a great place to start in this, the first of our series of podcasts specifically about the coronavirus or COVID-19, a good starting point is what is all the fuss about? I ask myself this every day. I ask, are we all getting caught up in this hype? Is it something really to be concerned about or is it just a common cold? My view on this, and I think it's something that most people share, is that we might not be at risk being young, healthy people, but it's the fact that we are carriers of this potential deadly flu that we pass on to those who have immune deficiency or to elderly grandparents or those that don't have such a strong system that we have. And that is why something like this does in fact need to be taken so seriously. How is COVID-19 being spread? What they've identified is that it is being spread like a common cold through close contact, through saliva droplets coming out of your mouth or your nose when you cough or splutter, through actually touching other people if you in fact have the germs on your hands when you touch other people. Hence, we are practicing something called social distancing where we're not actually touching people. We don't want close contact with people in fear of the fact that the germs would move from our body onto another person. It's not just people, obviously. We've read about infected surfaces or objects. How should we be dealing with that? Most people, ladies, walk around with perfume bottles in their handbags. But currently, we are all walking around with hand sanitizers and disinfectants in our handbags. And we're quite obsessed now that we spray everything. And you should be obsessed to spray everything that you touch from trolleys to products, keys to cell phone, everything. Spray it with a hand sanitizer or an alcohol wipe just to make sure that every surface is clean after you've touched it. And there are, of course, some very simple ways to prevent being affected. I don't think anything is guaranteed, but just some of those simple tips and tricks, as it were. Most important, avoid going to closed in and crowded areas. Put yourself into self-isolation, even if you don't have any symptoms of a common cold or flu. I think it's very important just to keep yourself away from anybody because you don't know where people have come from, who in fact they've been close to. Avoid traveling into affected areas. Naturally, don't go close to people that have traveled overseas. And most important, wash your hands regularly and cover your mouth and your nose when you do cough by coughing into your elbow, which is one of the common things that is practiced. One of the common things that we are seeing, speaking of things that are common around corona, hand sanitizer and face masks. From what you've learned, what are the rules when it comes to face masks and hand sanitizer? I think hand sanitizer is a must, definitely. But again, it's a farce if you're not using hand sanitizer that contains more than 70% alcohol concentrate in it. It does nothing. Otherwise, it's just like water. Common washing is the most acceptable thing that you should do. And I always laugh when I see people driving in their own car, in their own space, wearing face masks and gloves. You're protecting yourself from yourself, which is a bit silly in that sort of situation. And people have brought up the conversation of, are face masks and gloves actually doing anything for you? And I think that where they are the upper medical grade face masks, great. But where they ones that you can buy off the side of the road from vendors that are selling them to you, I don't think it's a good idea to even touch them. You're wasting your money. Interesting time. And here in South Africa, in the Southern Hemisphere, we are rapidly approaching our flu season thoughts on how COVID-19 is either going to go away or worsen? 
I think the most important thing is to not get hysterical if your child or if yourself get a cough or a cold. Look out for the common symptoms. If your child gets a temperature that is not extremely high, if they get a common cough, don't rush off to your doctor and have the tests that everyone is lining up in queues for and waste all of those resources. Of course, you need to be cautious, but at the same time, sensitive to the fact that there are some people who are in more dire risk of those tests than you are. That was Amanda Rogaley, chief mommy and founder of Baby Yum Yum, the fastest growing parenting community in SA. (laughs) 